well, this is the start of my adventure. I'm definitely stepping outside of my comfort zone. Every mile that goes by takes me further north and closer to my chosen beach. I'm here in Alapool because two years ago, I put solo wild camping on my bucket list of things to do. Out there are the Outer Hebrides and I'm about to take a ferry to the Isle of Lewis. And I think what makes this exciting for me is that I've never done anything like this before. It's taken me nearly 24 hours to go from London to now be arriving in Stornoway. And it might look like daytime, but it's actually quite late in the day and I'm going to find a hotel. Well, it's the next day and as you can see, it's not the best type of day to start a wilderness camp. But let me explain why I came here. Well, I read only about three or four weeks ago in the Times, Best Places by the Sea. It's an article that includes the most beautiful beaches. And number one on the list is here on the island, Uick Bay. It's about 25 miles away, so I'm gonna get there by bus. Okay, so the bus has just dropped me there and although this isn't exactly the middle of nowhere, it's kind of feeling that way right now for me. Now some people back at home have questioned whether this is my midlife crisis moment. I have a fantastic life at home, very, very happy, but I do think this is a time for reflection. Three weeks ago my mother died and six months before that my father so it does definitely feel a bit like the end of an era and here really is my first look of the bay look at it it looks just fantastic down there london seems a long 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 way away i've got about a four mile walk to get to where i want to camp this has been my walk along here around the edge of the main beach. Now, heading up here to Carnish. And then when I get there, I should walk beyond that to the beach. If it didn't say there was the best beach in Britain, you wouldn't know that it was just here. You really wouldn't look at this view. Look around there. And back here to the path I'm following. And here's the beach. It was a speck on the map, it was a sentence in a newspaper, and here I am. And you know what? There is just absolutely nobody here. You know the thing about being here? It's, it's the isolation. It's the edge of land, almost. And I've got it all to myself this evening. Now I need to put my tent up. What's really incredible is that the sun's come out now and it's going to be an amazing evening. So just look at this. One tent, one view. If you want to do some wild camping, I really recommend this place. Being somewhere like this, there's no question about it. It gets everything in perspective. We just live such hectic lives. We watch too much television, too much news. We worry too much about what's happening elsewhere in the world. I think we all just need to spend more time in beautiful places, in calm places, in peaceful places, and just reflect on what's amazing about life.